Welcome to Separate, Separate Bathrooms. Bathrooms. And other handy marriage tips. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Why is the start so awkward? Is it because someone is it like, and you're on? Yeah, and I don't know who's meant to go first. Like I go, I look at you and I go, I don't want to talk over the top of him. And should we both say welcome? Anyway, it's always that we moment. We will figure it out. Yeah. We, we're up to, this is our 22nd podcast. Yeah, maybe by 222 we'll know <laughs> yes. exactly. Maybe, maybe, we can, maybe we'll be able to afford an engineer and it won't be me. We'll have a third person <gasps> in the room. Wouldn't that be like a director, us? producer pointing at us? And yeah. It'd be pretty. Oh, I like it like this. <laughs> actually, I actually do like it like this. Welcome to Separate Bathrooms. My name is Cameron Daddo. This is my wife. Ali Daddo. Yeah, you can talk. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for did the Did you permission. think I was going to say your name then? I did. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, this is Separate Bathrooms and Other Handy Marriage Tips. We are um, coming to you from our, well, it's our living room. The dogs are outside. A cup of teas have been drunk. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be making dinner in a little while. <laughs> but now we're talking to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just looking at you going, okay, I'm just going to keep let, talking to you, buddy. Let's go. Let's All just right, So what are we in. talking about today? Oh, here we go. Yeah. In past episodes, we've talked about social media and the impact that it's had on relationships. We've also talked about what social media is like with kids and um, and living in this uh, this brave new Instagram world, mm. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you twit face mm. world. I don't know if it's brave, but anyway. Yeah, so well, this time... Well, it's the time... Wild West though, isn't it, really? Yeah, brave. I don't know if I'd use that word. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, this time we thought we'd sort of jump in and talk about how it affects couples or, it, or maybe it doesn't affect couples at all. But um, especially if you're if you find out if your partner is following someone or multiple people on Instagram that, you know, is it all very innocent? You know, how do you deal with that? And what are the rules, if there are any rules? So, for example, like if I was to find out you were following El McPherson or like or girls that do I think I do follow El McPherson. Of... <laughs> That's fine. Or, you know, I don't know, girls that just are simply doing – they're on there just in their sw very skimpy swimsuits. There's no sort of – other th other than just they're promoting their physical body. Like uh, if I found out you were following a bunch of those girls, how would I – I actually don't know who you follow, mm. quite frankly. But, um, you know, in a partnership, like if – and vice versa, if you – if I don't know, are there guys – I'm sure there's guys that just sort of are in their swimsuits and – Well, of course. Yeah, male model Our stuff son. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course he, he does not do no, that. I'm just um, yeah, so th what that causes in a relationship, mm. and and do do I have the right to say you need to unfollow those women? Like, do I have the right to say that as your wife or partner? Well, I can't stop you from asking. Yeah, um, I don't know that you. I mean, that's the whole thing. That's the basis of a relationship. What is it? I mean, some people would have a relationship set up like that where one tells the other, you can't do that. Yeah. You have to stop. Um, we don't have that relationship. I don't think we do. Well, unless it's snoring, then I definitely <laughs> tell you to stop. Like, I beg you to hey, stop. Hey, it works both ways too, you know. <laughs> I'm not the only snorer in the bedroom. I know, the dog's really bad. Right, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, I think it's really, uh, it's up to the couple you said that you don't know who I follow. I don't know who you follow. Mm. I don't want to know who you follow. Oh, I okay. do have. I don't. I mean, I. Well, I, I guess I. No, it's not something. That I mean, I'm, I actually it doesn't don't keep really me up to. at night going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap! Who's Alison following? Yes, it's yeah. really none of my business. I do. You know this. I have a propensity towards jealousy, and um, so I don't look at yours. I think it's better not to. You know, that's the thing. Whatever Instagram did a little while ago in taking off 
likes. Yeah. I think that was really good. Yeah. It was a really good thing. So I'm not looking at my feed the same way that I used to. Whereas, oh God, I was looking over your shoulder and seeing how many likes you got on a particular post. Because I think you're really good at Instagram. So you would look and see how many likes I got? All the time. Really? No, I'm actually oh. lying. I mean, that's not the kind of jealousy that I'm talking about No, but here, uh, though. But, but uh, with regard to that Instagram thing, yeah, I often could see what other people were posting and in my judgy McJudgerson state, I would have I would see that they're getting way more likes than I'm getting on my posts. And that sort of thing would, you know, would drive me nuts. Right. Now, so with regard to being in a relationship yeah. with you, I would rather it's just I'd just rather not go there. I trust you. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> but What's I do. I just trust? go, you know, because look, you. The thing is, it's all about personal responsibility. It's all about being have have. It's all about autonomy and governing yourself and going. Is this appropriate? You mm. know, in a, in a relationship, che- having having checks and balances of yourself. Um, and I think that when you have respect for the partner, you're going to go. Well, it's probably not the best thing for me to be following one of those girls or a hundred of those girls who have their, just, they're just showing butt floss, you know, right. at a beach. Um, it's a, it's, a bit, hard... I, it's like, I don't even, it's like, I just go, why am I, why would I even be? Yeah. You know, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's such a it. different, it's such a different world mm. again, as we've spoken so many times about when to when we first started, you and I first started dating and you know, that was many many, many years ago. Um, and, and now I think any relationship is dealing with the impact of phones and social media and Facebook and stuff like that. And Snapchat. Yeah. And I remember distinctly, um, I, I think I was living with you. I think I'd moved in or I'd stayed the night or something at your house. It was early days. And I was in the spare room, not sleeping, but I was in the spare room doing something <laughs> and Sorry. found a Playboy magazine. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. And I was, I was horrified. I think I was what, 21? Yeah, probably yeah, 21. 21. 20, so 21. I met you three weeks before you turned 21. Yeah. So I had to yeah. Be and I just, I just thought that was the end of Why? not necessarily our relationship well in my very 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 insecure naive young mind <laughs> i just thought there should only be me in your world you know that it should like the idea that you were looking at some other woman who was naked in a magazine was just like it was, I remember just feeling devastated. I remember I drove away. You don't remember this story, do you? Do you remember no, this No, but I think you're wrong about one thing. I never would have had a Playboy. It was always penthouse. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, honey, your penthouse. Playboy was a waste of time. Okay, pen, your penthouse. Um, and I remember I drove off and I went to the beach and I cried and I just... I was, and I just stayed out like for hours, hoping that you'd come rescue me from oh this terrible thing God, that you'd I done. Didn't, I didn't and know this story at all. Yeah, yeah. Did probably, you ever tell me about that part? You never told me about that part. Uh, I yeah, you knew that I disappeared. I remember you. Not you, over, not over a porno in the spare. Well, room. it was when I came back. Oh, I know. It was when. No, I don't think we were living with each other because it was when Locke was still. Oh, I was, it was you. Lockies. Well, that's exactly. It was Lockie. Wouldn't okay, have been hold mine. Up. That's exactly what you told me, and um, you did tell me that. <laughs> Look, it was mine. Yeah, but it then, was mine. <laughs> yeah, it was yours. Probably. Because then you admitted it later on, because Lockie said, kind of looked at me, I think, and was like, oh, yeah, that was my magazine, because I came in like, oh, it's, it's just it's the worst, and da, da 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 And you're like, yeah, it was Lockie's, and then come, you couldn't hold that secret for very long, and went, yeah, no, actually, it, it was mine, and, you know, there's nothing to it. It's just a <laughs> magazine that I had, and... You know, and I think you probably would have bought it before we even met. Yeah, yeah, 
I probably would have stolen Maybe it not. before we met. Oh, well, there you them. go. I should have looked at the date and gone, 1979. That was my first clue. It was, one of those dr- yeah, right. it was one of those drunken, you know, walk into a gas station drunk. And, you get, and, you got yeah. your Chiquita roll yeah. and you got your penthouse. Exactly. Slide the penthouse under your shirt and right. off you go. You but, that's, but that's sort of the, you know, I just remember, like that was the idea. That was sort of our social media back then that, you know, you'd go buy one of those magazines and – hide it somewhere or and I just remember just being so upset about that and um you know and I think now yeah with access, say, how does that how does that relate to now in terms of what we're talking about with social media well now there's access to all sorts of stuff that you can get on social media is there <laughs> oh my god and you call yourself an actor. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Penthouse online. <laughs> Is there? Probably. Probably. I'm, I've been there. Maybe you're subscribed and I, I don't even know well, about no, it. A lot of those, I think a lot of those magazines are out of business anyway now. I think Playboy is out of business. I don't I mean, I don't know for sure, but yeah, you're right. There's a lot of different. Well, Dolly Magazine is. So. <sighs> well, that was, see, that was, that was the 16 year old boys penthouse right there. <laughs> yeah. You know. Was it? Oh, listen, let's not go there. That's just, that's just freaking me out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, there are, there's a lot of places one can go if you want to, if you want to do that. If you want to check out stuff like that, yeah. you get it, as you know, you can get anything on the internet. Yeah, exactly. No one, we're not saying anything new here. Yeah. Though it's just, a, you know, I mean, and obviously that's a whole other bigger picture when there's online porn and all that kind of thing in a relation, you know, when they're in relationship with each other. Mm. Though I'm just talking about, you know, Instagram, like some, some people get really upset, you know, about who that person is follows like why would you follow that person now yeah. what's the point of it or yeah. you know but as you say it's your business and or it's my business or yeah look I, I think it's just important that that you're not I mean obviously you want to set up when you're in a relationship you want to set up rules around it and how much time you're spending on it you know you don't want to be hmm. Sitting at the mall. Well, actually, I wasn't. I've, we went through that last time when I was playing words with friends, um, which is another form of another. It's like an active way of social media where you're interacting with someone else playing a playing a word game yeah. or whatever it is. You know, so you know you want to. You don't want to be doing that when you're having alone time with your with your partner. And yeah, I think it's that's you have your rules and you go let's stick to that and this is this is how we how we operate it's going to be different with every couple yeah and, and yeah what you both agree exact, to exactly exactly and i th- but there needs to be an agreement there needs to i think nowadays which is different from when we were there like clearly we had an agreement no penthouse <laughs> Well, what imagine. happened with that? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I don't think you ever bought another penthouse. I probably didn't, and I don't think even I don't think I stole one. I stole one. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, but I think that you have to have, in order to make these things work, you've got to have agreements. It's got to be spoken about, and go. This is what I accept, and this is what I don't accept, and let's figure it out from here, and. For everybody, it's going to be different. Yeah. It takes courage to do that, though, uh, because you might you might end up you might end up at a in a stalemate situation where one's going, well, this is how I want it to be. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, the, the woman's going, I want to follow NRL men, you know, mm. <laughs> the men of rugby league, with their naked torsos. I mean, and you, you know, and the dude's like, nah, you can only follow AFL. <laughs> And she says, nah. (laughs) This is such a man conversation. I know. (laughs) I happen to be of that gender. I mean, that is true. Yeah. That is true. You have said to me before, you know, I, when I look at, you know, you've used that analogy. Yes, I do look at other women Mm. in the street or whatever because it does, because I look at, a rose and I look at a gardenia and I look at a sunflower and, you know, you've used that analogy yep. with me and yep. it's not that you're looking at them lasciviously 
you're just looking at them because you would look at a guy or you would look at a girl. Like you, I look at people. Mm. I look at people and I look at the way people relate to each other. Yeah, well, see, and... someone might use that for their reasoning on Instagram, like who they follow. Yeah, but like I said, I think it, you've got to have your own checks and balances, you know. And like we've been at the beach where, remember that time we are at the beach and those two girls were lying near us taking selfies of themselves. Like they were lying side by side, but they were taking their own individual selfie. They were taking pictures of themselves, not like one wasn't taking a photograph of the other. Yeah. And then they started doing double selfies and where they were together and they were doing it for like, we were there for a couple of hours. They were doing it the entire time. I wonder how many pictures they actually posted from that session, but I have no interest for me. I have no interest in watching a photograph of someone like that online. Obviously there are other people that do and that's fine. We all like things different. Yeah. I guess, you know, if you, that's the thing. I have no interest in looking at that. I think it's troubling if in a in a relationship, if you're you're having thoughts about someone that you're following, and my thoughts, I mean thoughts that aren't particularly relevant to the relationship that you're in. Mm-hmm. I think it's also it's also important to acknowledge it as a red flag if you're having conversations with people that you're following that you're not having with your spouse or your your partner. Like of the opposite sex, do you mean? Not necessarily. Could be someone of the same sex. I think it's, I think it's important to, to have certain conversations with your spouse or your partner. And if you're, having the, if you're having those special conversations with other people, you're having that relationship with someone online or through social media, I, I think it's just a red flag. It's just a moment to ask yourself that question. Uh, should I be doing this with this person? Shouldn't I be actually having this conversation with you? We, yeah, I mean, you're not, uh, I mean, it, where my mind goes is like, I, you know, with my best girlfriends, I have conversations with them that I don't have with you. Well, that's important. Yeah. And I have <laughs> so conversations you're not, you're with not my talking friends about, about yeah. no, no, no. Talking about I'm, like someone online that I don't necessarily know and I'm talking about, that is that what you mean? Yeah, because yeah, and I, I can't really give you. I'm not. I can't really give you a specific example of what that conversation, or might be innermost thoughts. It might be something intimate. You know, it's like when you're having, like what you've, when we've often talked about. You know, someone might not be having a physical affair, but they're having an emotional affair. Yeah, and it, it, that's when you're doing it through social media, and there's such a. It's it's such There's a, a plethora of social media that you could do that. Well, with. there is. There's great opportunities yeah. to do that on on social media. Not so much on say Instagram, although you can message somebody. Yeah, Facebook is the one where there's been a, a plethora of studies done. I know. I looked that word up. Isn't that a good word? I used to read that as plethora. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, that. and then I would someone say plethora? I go, oh. Oh, that's how you say that word. <laughs> anyway, um, but a bunch of studies done on how damaging Facebook has been. I think mm. it is the most damaging mm. uh, of of the social media platforms out there on the damage on relationships. Because I, you hear a lot about when you know wives or husbands look up their wife or husband on social on on Facebook and it's their status is sig- single and you go oh yeah that's that's a big red flag right there <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah. i mean but that's the same my husband or wife or but that's even boyfriend and girlfriend going yeah. oh, you've heard about that what do you mean where what do you mean you're single you're with me you've been with me for 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 3 days and you're saying that you're still single yeah sorry babe i just haven't changed the status well you looked up you found some the seven Facebook rules for couples, which are which are interesting. You found that online. I did, and um, I thought they were really interesting. I'm. Yeah. You want to go through them? Sure. All right. Hi, this is Brooke DeVard from Naked Beauty. Are you tired of feeling housebound? I sure am. 
break free with the new Unbound Cordless Auto Curler from Con Air. It's a high-performance auto curler that's rechargeable and gives you up to 60 minutes of cord-free runtime. Just think of all of the incredible hair looks you can create in 60 minutes, unbound, away from your wall. Don't get tied down by cords. Love your look. Live unbound. Check it out at conair.com and search unbound. I like a bed that's really firm. I need something a little softer than that. Rest easy. With the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed, you can both adjust your comfort with your Sleep Number setting. Can it really help me fall asleep faster? Yes, by gently warming your feet. Okay, but can it help keep us asleep? It senses your movements and automatically adjusts to keep you effortlessly comfortable. Sleep Number, proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. It's our biggest sale of the year where all beds are on sale. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed. Only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com. Rule number one, discuss the dangers of social media. Yeah. And I think that's a really good discussion to have because I think that opens up a a direct line into what your beliefs are, what you want from social media and, um, and the pitfalls. Mm. And when, and that way that just leads to better understanding between, between a couple. And the second one is established time boundary. So I gather that's like, you know, how much time each of you are going to spend. And I guess that's that's up to every individual. But when it's time lost between a couple where it's like, you know, honey, let's go for a walk. And you're going, well, I'm no, I'm on Facebook talking to my imaginary friends in Sweden. Then that becomes an issue in in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have imaginary friends in Sweden? Oh, I've got imaginary friends everywhere. <laughs> I'm not on Facebook, so I can't even use this one. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's um oh, I think also, but that's how much time are you spending? And I and this is also when it's your business, that's got to be a tricky balance, wouldn't it? Because Absolutely. There are so many people using f- social media as their as yeah. their as their uh, their business now, yeah, they're it's promoting a, it's their a businesses great there, and for that. yeah, and it's a great tool to mm. use. Yet, where's what's the delineation between your social time on social media and your business time on social yeah. media? And, and I think- is is that the amount of time spent on it um, really affecting your relationship? Really, to that, you know how our iPhones now tell us how much time we're spending on the phone. Yeah. Do you use that tool? Has that helped you? Um, only to horrify me <laughs> when, I, when it goes, you are two hours extra up this week or whatever it is. I'm like, oh, God, no. Two hours extra up. <laughs> yeah, well, because it's extra up time. Like you've, you've added, you're, you've spent two hours extra this week. Oh, it the, tells what you, you normally that. do? Like the, what, yeah. it's, it starts to generate an average. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so clearly I don't pay any attention to it. Yeah, no, and you know, I have. I think a, a lot of people do this as well. They, I have my timer on it, where, you know, I allow myself. I think it's a two-hour. No, it's an hour limit. I think I put on my social media, mm. and then up it comes saying you have five more minutes left. Okay, fine. You are up. You know, it says then that your social media platforms are closed down. Would you like extra time? And I go, yes, just one more minute, please, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Do one more minute. One day I'm just going to like follow that rule for myself. I go, oh, I had extra time. Oh, I'm just going to ignore this limit. The amount of times I ignore this limit is ridiculous. But I was just thinking that the other day. I'm like, you know what? One of these days I'm actually going to follow that rule for myself and go, no, put it down. Just put it all down. So there you go. Well, there you go. Rule number two, establish time boundaries. Yes. So that that works, but you've got to honour that boundary. Otherwise, what the hell? What the hell? Doesn't mean anything. It's like setting a snooze on your alarm. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Um, Number three is don't friend your exes unless you're in a good place with them. Oh, but even that. Yeah, but you but you might be in a good place with your ex, but your partner's not. It's it's a it's a it's a murky place, isn't it? It is. It's a murky place. And why bring the murk in? Yeah. I mean, unless it's a Mercedes. Oh, look, that was just genius wordplay Did right you like there. That? I'm going to give you a two out of ten. Yeah, that's yep. what I get paid the big bucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you don't want to. That's the thing. Don't sully the water if you don't have yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, you, you're right. You might be fine with your ex, but 
but I'm not okay with your ex hanging mm. around because I don't trust your ex because I know what he did. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You know? Yeah, I know. I guess I always think of it the exception to the rules. But, yeah, I guess in general. that's I get that uh, you, in there's general. Al- there's always going to be exceptions yeah. to the rules. Yeah. So, but I guess that's... Um, uh, what's this? Rule number four, mind your status. So that's what I was talking about before, right? Like, Yeah, I, single... I believe... Yeah. Yeah. Mind your status. So pay attention to what you're actually putting out there. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Mm. Number five, never argue in public. As in public on Facebook, never argue. You, If you and I started a fight with each other on yeah. Facebook. Well, keep your dirty laundry. Uh, yeah, just do it in a podcast instead. Exactly. Well, see, this is something else that I was reading as we were thinking about doing this one that we're... A lot of people get very pissed off with married couples on, on online, especially you've got to be careful when you're a couple, what you post, because you can overdo it and people just overdo go, what? overdo the posting, overdo the love, overdo the, yeah, isn't life great? Aren't we unreal? You know, we're just having the best time together mm. and, and you can overdo it. And and turn people off. So, you know, I, that's the other... I guess that's the flip side. Well, of that's if never, you're looking for approval, though. That's, like, well, yeah, yeah. You know, if yeah, you... But, if but you actually, just... that's what, actually, that's what it was talking about. It's like when you start off and you're in love and you're just posting for... Because we're having a good time. Yeah. Um, and then it becomes you... St- people start to respond. And then it, the human nature is... I love this reaction. I'm going to do more for this right. reaction. And next thing you know, you're doing it to get love and get likes and get, you know. So the kudos. next time you and I have a fight, we should take a picture of ourselves <laughs> angry with each other and post it. What do you think? Why don't, why don't we put it on our, on our separate bathroom Facebook page? <laughs> our angry faces You'd be like, each other. I'm just going to take a picture of you because you're angry with me. I'll be like, no, don't. Take a picture of me because I'm angry with you. <laughs> yeah, that would not go down well. Yeah, so, but I think that's true. Never argue in public. I think that's an important and one. No, and number six is basically the same thing. Don't disrespect your partner online. I mean, that's sort of very similar to don't argue in public. Don't disrespect your partner online. I think that's that's just common courtesy. Yeah. You know, that's don't disrespect your partner anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's online true. Online or anywhere yeah. in life. No argument there. I think that's pretty self-explanatory rule number six rule number seven is live in the moment now sounds like I, a song i oh, know yeah it sounds like a sounds like a bond title from a movie. yeah live yeah. in the moment yeah yeah daniel craig um is living in the moment <laughs> um now obviously that's great life advice why is that a facebook rule well, live in the moment okay so i i sort of delved into that one and this is what it said people who have the impetus to carefully compose their posts are obviously not spending time actually living their lives because they're too busy composing their posts well again it it depends if they're a business then of course they have to carefully compose back to my point how much time are you spending socially on social media or business and creating a creating an effect right yeah. So it goes, um, think about it carefully. If you're truly having fun and enjoying your life, why on earth would you feel the need to seek the approval of your friends, family, and old classmates? Many people who do this repeatedly either feel extremely insecure or they're trying hard to conceal the truth about their own life. Mm. I mean, that's I, the whole I, thing about social media too, isn't it? Where, yeah. where we where we try to live our best life on the yeah on on for everyone to see publicly. Yeah. And this is the trouble is that is that people are putting all those filters on their faces and stuff like that. I and, really understand that. I because do you? yeah because what when do you I understand? I understand that feeling of insecurity um, and. Many people who do this repeatedly either feel extremely insecure or are trying hard to conceal the truth about their own life. I, I think I understand that insecure part because I remember the day I decided that I would do a public Instagram because yeah. I'd only ever had a private one. And it was absolutely terrifying. Yeah. I felt so scared to do it. And I sweated over each 
post and had to like get clearance from my our, our eldest daughter on it. What do you mean? <laughs> Just to go, is this dumb? Is this stupid? Like what, you know, I remember really, I don't feel that way now. Because that's not true. Occasionally I still do. You should check out Ali's Instagram Oh, Ali. look, I just put up what, what I like. Ali Datto? Yeah, Ali Datto. Ali Datto. But I just wow. remember that those first few posts, I felt really, really terrified about it. Like mm. what was going to come back at me? Because I'd seen how cruel trolls are. I'd yeah. seen the nastiness. So in that way, I feel like sometimes I do feel I've got to really think about what I, what I post because I don't know how it's going to hit someone or yeah. what's going to come back at me. So whether that's being insecure or just being, I don't know what that is, but that's, I feel less of that now, but I totally was quite scared about those, that, that first four, five, six posts. Yeah. Not anymore. A thousand down. No, I think I'm 300 down or something. Oh, no, no, not really. No, because I just go, I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to post what I like. Yep. I'm just going to post what interests me, what I feel passionate about, what I love and what I would like to look at. And then at the end of the day, that's it. Yeah, but you're also sensitive to other people's lives and feelings as well. You, you're not going to post something that that is, um, well, you're aware that, that other people are having their own lives and in terms of they might be having difficulty or the, right. uh, be kind because you just don't know what the person absolutely you're on the other end of your words is going through. Yeah. So I think that's always something that's, that's good to keep in the back of the mind yeah. anyway, when you're dealing with, with stuff. Yeah. Uh, it goes on to say it's imperative that you do not allow yourself to become obsessed with social media sites. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't neglect your partner by sitting at the computer all evening, interacting with everyone and anyone except that one special person in your life. I mean, that's no truer words said than that. I mean, that's that's the bottom line, uh, right? I mean, that, that just kind of breaks my heart thinking that that would be happening in relationship that someone's online having full conversations, interaction with someone online and... Your partner's sitting there eating a bag of chips. Well, it depends what the chips are. <laughs> oh, my God. If they're good chips. <laughs> the chips are good, honey. <laughs> oh. That person eating the bag of chips might be quite happy <laughs> That's with their true. bag of chips. That is true. Look, who are we to say anything about yeah, anything, Because this really? summer, now remember, some of those chips that came out this summer, those fancy <laughs> flavours. Oh <laughs> it was a meat pie chip, I think. No. I did, they were sold out by the was. time I found there out. There was a lamington chip. There was a lamington chip. I went looking for off. them and they and they were gone. So I if anyone's we, got lamington we chip. Have, we have digressed. I know. But. R- remember, <laughs> life is for living, not pretending to be living. Yeah. And uh, I think that's a great way to, um, to finish up. L- listen, it, I mean, we talk about relationships. You know, if you go through our our list of podcasts, we give different, you know, our our advice, not so much our advice, but our experience of what we've been through. And if you are having trouble, if your partner is on social media and can't seem to get off and you're the one sitting in the corner eating the chips. Eating the chips. um, Share the chips with Cam. Share the chips. But, (laughs) you know, therapy is a good thing. And I, that's a big, I've just made a big leap right there. But see if you can find someone to help yeah. you out uh, with your partner and, oh, and work things through. And if you can, agree, maybe even just agree to do a weekend away without screens. Just say, you know what, let's just leave our phones, computers, screens, and let's go have a weekend without it. Yeah. And, and, and detox that way if you can. Yeah. Here's the thing though, because I'll go, yeah, but that's totally unre- unrealistic. To, right. to Oh, we used to do it all the time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. But now we're tethered to our phones. What I was going to say is take your phone with you. And then when you get to your destination, whether it's your, you know, the hotel or a tent or whatever it is, leave the phone locked in the car. You know, just lock it away mm, and leave it there for the night. It's tempting, but yeah. Yeah, I know. But 
I know. Little and steps. The, little I know. Steps. And the thing is, if you've got kids at home, and yeah. you know, there's always yeah. a. You can always say there's things. <laughs> there's there's justifications for everything. Yeah, and excuses I for everything. But, I, it, but if you're at a, if you're at a point where perhaps you really need some drastic measures, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Do you do you feel in your heart of hearts? Look me in the eye. Do you yes. reckon you could leave your phone on a Friday afternoon and jump in the car with me and not come back till Sunday without your phone? I do the I, it, that, but the uh, the only thing is, is I then my parent brain goes, "What if something happened to one of the kids and they needed to reach us?" Um, that's the only like if we were at a hotel where we gave the kids yeah, this is say, the hotel the, number, yeah. yeah, we're in this room, yeah. this is how you can reach us. Yes, a hundred percent, I could. Yeah, and if 100%. you get in any trouble, call your uncle Andrew. Yep, Auntie Karen. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right alright okay well, that's cool um, we cooked honey stick, okay. a, stick a fork in me I'm done yeah, I've got to go make tacos are we having tacos we're having tacos oh, yeah. I'll come and help you okay. hey uh, hit us up on the Facebook page separate bathrooms and other handy marriage tips if you've got something you'd like us to, to discuss and just just quickly um we did do our last podcast. We talked about the fires, mm. and we promised that we'd put um, charities and everything that that are really doing great work. It's Which all I did. up there yeah. on Facebook now. Yeah. Cam's posted yeah, the, it. Really great the stuff. Really good article in the uh, Australian, and I'll just put that up there. And they're, yeah. they're all legitimate charities to follow. I know there's been some some scammers out there, but they're legitimate ones. And also that. Um, Buy with them and, and yeah, uh, spend with them. Yeah, spend, spend with them. With them. Yeah, MDS key. Um, yeah, buy from the bush. Spe- uh, yeah, go to the bush. Something. Anyway, it's all up there. <laughs> <laughs> you can see when we're scripted and when we're not. <laughs> MDS key. Yeah, all right. good, good stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. Till next time. Thanks uh, for listening. Take care. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.